Hey guys, do you think it's okay if another contractor shows up and just starts working right on your slab before you're even done? Because that's what happened to me today. Hey guys, so today on this job, I had something happen to me that's never happened to me before. Uh, another contractor, it, it's going to be the Mason, you'll see here shortly in the video. The Mason shows up and decides he's just going to start working. He's going to start laying block right on the slab <laughs> before I'm even done. I didn't know he was coming. I'm working actually for the builder today, who I've worked for for a long time, a lot of years. He's a good friend of mine. And this is actually the second pour of the morning for us. We did a bigger one earlier that was pretty close by. Then we just all came over here to, to pour this. Then I'm going to stay in power trial, finish it myself. Not knowing that the mason's on his way. And he's going to start unloading his block and getting his mortar out. Start mixing up and start laying block on that, that right hand, that back right hand corner in the video where you see those forms are up right there. Where Jim's magging the edges. Um, I didn't know that was getting a block wall there. Just I don't know if it's one row or two, but it's just like a little retaining wall type thing because the ground's a little high in that corner, I guess. But as you'll see as the video goes on here, you're going to see when, you know he's going to show up. He's going to stop mixing up his mortar, and I'm I'm looking. I'm going like, what what are you doing? You know, and then he's going to start laying his block on there. So anyway, let's get through the pour here first. I mean, this is basically just a garage with a little, you know, it's got a, it's going to have a bathroom in it and a, a little kitchen area, so it's kind of like a studio apartment type garage thing. And all I was, you know, we're just basically hired to come here, show up, pour for a four-inch concrete floor. We got fiber mesh in it, um, power trial finish it, Sara cuts in it today. And that's basically it. There's usually on a job like this, you know, there's no other contractors around working beside us or over us or with us it's just okay the floor guys are here today you know let them get the floor done and then the other subs can come in afterwards and start on their stuff whether they're the, the framers or whoever so I'm thinking you know that's me running the shoot right there but I'm thinking this this is going to be a pretty easy one Darren and Luke will go back to the first job and power trial that one and then they'll come back here after they're done and then I'll just stay here I've got a power trial in my truck today, and I'll just power trial this one nice and smooth. So, you know, pretty easy day, really, because as you can see, most of it's in the shade. It's really not very big. And just simple as far as pouring, finishing, and, and sawing today for us on this one. I got now Harvey and Jim are helping us because um, Jim there in the back with the dark blue sweatshirt, he does foundations kind of like the foundation you see here the concrete walls and Harvey works with him sometimes Harvey actually works for himself but he's poured a lot of floors so we at the, the first floor we poured today was for Jim on one of his jobs and he he agreed just to come over here because it was so close by just to help us dump this one in real quick that way you know Darren and Luke could get back to his job make sure they didn't get back there late get the power trial on and stop finishing that and then I'm just gonna finish this one up so we got we got it all poured, got it bowl floated, and here it is, you know, maybe 30, 45 minutes later, and I'm I'm starting to mag my edges and just starting the finishing process, getting ready to go. You can see I got the power trowel on the tailgate, got my crane out ready to go, and I'm just thinking, okay, it's going to be a pretty easy day for me, really. So the the, the concrete's getting pretty firm. I I'm going to set the machine down on it with the crane. And then I'll just wait for it to be just the right time to get on it. Now you can see a white truck showing up in the background there. And at this point, I still don't really know what's going on. I didn't really notice. You know, my focus was on getting the getting the power trial started. And now you can see him in the background. He's getting his water out. He's got his water buckets out. And then he'd already taken the block. If you look way over to over there to the right, where that formed corner is, he's got his block all laid out over there. And we still haven't really talked about what's going on. I just figured he was unloading, getting ready for the next day, or maybe a couple days from now. And then, uh, 
you know, so there's my first hit right there. And it was still too soft to even go hit on that right hand side because that side had been in the shade for quite a while. So I just let that go. And, you know, I shut the power trial off. I hit about two thirds of it. I'm gonna go around and start doing my edges again. And here he comes, he backs in. You'll see he's gonna end up putting his tailgate down. He's gonna carry his water over. And now he's asking me, guys, he's like, do you mind if I stop putting block in over there? And I was like, I don't know, I guess so. I mean, you're here to do that already? And he was like, yeah, I didn't have nothing to do. I figured I'd come over and get a jump on it. And I'm thinking to myself, well, you really, you can't wait one more day to do that after I'm done. So anyway, I, I wasn't, I wasn't too hard about it. I was just, just like, do whatever you got to do. I mean, you're here, you got all your stuff. Go ahead. I'll just work around you, I guess. I, and again, I wasn't, I wasn't told by the builder he was showing up. I didn't even know there was blocks going on that section. Um, I don't usually get told about that stuff. I just get told it's ready. You know, do what you got to do. If we have, if there's a form area we need to put up, we'll put the forms up. You can see he's already starting to lay out over there <laughs> before, before I even got that section mag floated. So I was like, well, at least let me hit it by hand once before you start doing anything. So the slab's starting to set up pretty good now. It's, it's probably around 10, 30, 11 in the morning. I finally got to where I can get on this section over here. So he's he's getting his water ready. You can see in the background he's measuring out his water. Putting he's gonna end up getting his bags of mortar out, getting them ready, and he's gonna stop mixing here just before long. And again, this is the first time I'm hitting that over there, so you know it's still pretty soft over there. Yeah, you can see he's gonna stop cutting up his bag, stop mixing, and he's ready to go. I mean he's he doesn't want to wait any longer. Um, I guess it, I guess you know that would make for a pretty good bond with the wet concrete and the in the wet mortar bonding together. I don't know if that's a big deal, but again, I've never I've never really had this happen as I'm finishing a concrete floor. I guess I've had people there waiting for us to get done, you know, and starting right after we get done, but never really working right on the slab as we're finishing. <laughs> what What do you guys think of that anyway? I mean. I, uh, I'm pretty easy going. I mean, I don't get too mad or anything like that or upset. I guess if he was really in my way, I would have asked him pretty nicely, just, hey, can you just wait, wait till I get down? I'll be done in, you know, an hour and a half, two hours, then you can have at it. Um, but I didn't, uh, I didn't today for whatever reason. I don't know why. Now I'm going to get over there. I'm going to trial that out smooth and then at least get it trialed once before he starts putting any block down. You can see he's already throwing some mortar on the slab and he's got a couple blocks laid out. So he just kind of went at it as I was finishing. Um, and I just, I just kept to myself. You know, my job was to get a nice finish on this slab for the guy I'm working for. And as long as he stayed out of my way, didn't make a mess over there. So I had to keep cleaning up after him. You know, I guess I was okay with it, but. Let me know what you guys think anyway. What, what would you have done in this case? I mean, quite honestly, the slab really hasn't reached very much strength over there. And he's already putting quite a bit of weight just on those outer five or six inches of the concrete. So, and you can see he's got quite a few blocks sitting over there. So I think he's going to end up going up more than one row. And he's going to, I'm sure he's, I'm sure he's just going to do it all today. From what I can tell, he's just going to do that corner where the forms are. He doesn't have to do where the concrete wall is. And that's probably why they left the wall low there, I guess, so the floor could go out over it. And then he could set his block right on top of the, the floor instead of setting it on the, the concrete wall. But he was, he, was in, uh, he was in no condition to wait. He just wanted to get going. And it's still morning. It's not even noontime yet. I mean... I guess he could have waited and showed up if if he had called the builder. Yeah, now he now he's got to borrow something out of my truck. <laughs> he ended up seeing a piece of rebar in there, and he needed that piece of rebar for something. I don't even know what he needed it for. I don't even know if I saw him use it for anything. <laughs> but I didn't care. I had a bunch of those pieces in there. It's just like, yeah, go ahead if you need it, take it. Um, kind of funny at this point, but 
I'm going to just keep finishing. I mean, my job is to, to hit the hit the slab. Now you can see it's all in the sun, so it's starting to cure up pretty fast. So I just hit it, keep buzzing my edges, making sure they're smooth. Um, let it let it cure up for a little bit longer. Now I'm over there just going around those pipes and stuff because I don't know what they're going to use for flooring over here. I got to make sure that, you know, if he leaves any little bit of a mess over there, I got to make sure the edges all look nice and neat and clean because that's just the way I do things. He's got to mix up a little bit more mortar, I guess, so we can come down this other side. Now the slab's getting pretty smooth at this point. I've hit it, like, I think I've hit it about three times. So this would be the fourth time I've hit it. And usually four or five times like this out in the sun, and it's it gets done. It gets what we call burnt out, shined out. And it, it just won't get any smoother. So that's about the point I'm at right now. You can see it's still a little green because you can see the... You can see the marks by the trowel, how it's still, how I'm changing directions with the trowel. You can still see that pretty clearly. So I may have one more hit to, to do here before it's completely finished, but it's just the process of going over it, you know, letting it cure up, going over it again, letting it cure up for a time being, and it gets smoother and smoother every time you hit it. It's just the timing of when to do it is what's a little tricky to learn. You can see he's getting all them set right down there now. I mean, he's doing a good job. He looks like he knows what he's doing and all. Just not sure, not sure if he knows that it would be a little bit better maybe to wait another day, let the slab cure up a little bit better. So at this point, the slab is basically as smooth as it's going to get. I might buzz it quickly one more time, and I'm measuring out for my saw cut. So I haven't even cut my contraction joints in yet. We typically do that right after we get done power troweling. We'll pull the trowel off, snap out our chalk lines, and get the saw. You can see Darren over there on the left. Darren and Luke showed up. Their job, their job cured up, and they finished up pretty early. So they came over, brought the saw with them, and I'm just shining the rest of this out. The guy's setting his block right where I got a saw. So he's kind of getting in the way a little bit over there now. But I'm just going to work my way back to the truck get the power trial hooked up to the crane we'll get that off get that loaded and then Darren's gonna start sawing you can see that guy over there on the left that showed up he was looking like what is that guy doing over there we're just gonna saw one down the middle each way this thing wasn't really that big so we just cut it into quarters that should help control any shrinkage cracking in this thing where we saw it so early So Darren's sawing, you can see he's trying to figure out that block needs to go right there, but he's also got a saw right there, so you can't quite set that block down yet. We gotta get the the saw cut all the way to the edge if we can, and then I gotta I gotta broom out the dust too. There now I'm like go ahead have at it. You can finish that first row. We'll finish up sawing and we're gonna get out of here. But anyway, guys, so that's kind of what happened today. Um, been finishing concrete for a long, long time. Never had the mason show up. Start laying block on my slab the same day. At least while I'm power troweling. I mean, maybe they showed up after I left and, and have done it. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Thanks again for watching. And we'll see you on the next one.